Oh, yes, there's a... Oh, shit. There's some serious radiation. Okay. I think we should run like hell. <laughs> he just spotted us. Oh, not good. This is not good. Where did he go? Oh, ah! He's gonna kill me. <laughs> he killed me. I should have went back. Thanks, Doug. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to start making preparations for building our first factory. Um, so let's see. There's a hard drive up on the cliff. We're going to go check out, see if we can get another good alternate recipe. I want to get my dimensional depot going, and we're going to set up the first of several of our um, smelting sheds. And uh, I built that in the blueprint. And then I got some uh, I got some pretty cool plans, at least I think they are, uh, for our first factory. I've spent uh, quite a few hours off camera designing, building, designing, you know, the factory. And um, I'm excited to build that for you guys. Uh, and I expect to get started on that in earnest in the next episode. So I know it's been uh, a long time coming. You know, most people start building factories right away because after all, factory game. But, you know, we've just done a lot of, you know, kind of prep work, grinding all the way to... Um, tier four and you know just spent a little bit of time uh it you know to stop and smell the flowers in this game enjoy the world and not just get right into the factory building but we will be doing that uh, trust me we will be doing that too and i hope you guys uh, really enjoy you know what what we're going to come up with okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to run over to see do i have ammunition yes i do uh, we're going to run over to that cave that has the sam in it and Grab another batch of Sam itself. I'm trying not to call it Sam or, <laughs> um, and because uh, we need that to make the dimensional depot. I went over there, off camera, and set up five. I think it was five uh, portable miners, and uh, so we're gonna go back in there and grab that stuff to start with. All right, those spiders have probably repopped. So let's make sure we're ready for them. Yep, and they are. Little bastards. There's one more over there. Got him. All right. I think that's all of them, hopefully. I, I hear the pitter patter of nasty feet. Uh, when I came back, when I came back in here, I had to re-blow up the entrance, and I've noticed that this is resealed too. I wonder if that was from an update, because they did update the game and they did fix the coal bug. Um, they they just you know issued a patch for that. So let's go see if. They did update the game, and that purple slug is in here again, along with the big bads. Um, we might as well take advantage of it. Uh, the nice thing about this spot, too, unless they fixed it, is that the big bads can't really get to you. So you can just kind of cheese them from afar. Because these are some of the most dangerous enemies in the game. I, I hear... I hear feet. I don't see him though. Hear that? Maybe there's another part of the the cave or something. Oh shit, they're there. <laughs> I was gonna say, what the hell, man? But see, they, they're stuck there. They can't get to you. So you can just sit here and cheese them. I showed this little sequence of me doing this at the very end of a couple episodes ago. A lot of people don't watch videos all the way to the end, so if you didn't, you missed it. <laughs> Got that one out of the way. Uh, 
Headshot. Nice. Alright, I think that's all of them. Oh. Still here. Here walking. Uh, but the slug actually has not repopped. How interesting. Okay. I know creatures repop, but I didn't think, you know, exploded entrances, the stone, you know, stuff that you can blow up, that that would re repop too, but apparently it does. I don't know, that doesn't seem right though. I don't remember that happening in update 8. Let's grab all this Sam. Okay. And uh, then we'll head back. And that should give us more than enough to make a, our dimensional depot. Now, I know you can get upgrades for those depots. You know, you know, to make them faster, more capacity and whatnot. But I wonder, I wonder if you can have more than one depot. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to check that out. I have, you know, this will be my first time making them and I haven't watched anybody else do it. Does Doug have anything else? Not quite yet. A little too soon. He's brought us some good stuff. In fact, best thing he's brought us so far have been these fused frames. And we're going to actually use those to get a few more points because I need some more stuff from the shop for this build. Uh, all right. So let's see. I've got, yeah, i got tons of Sam. Uh, let's grab all of that. Whoop. Uh, we're going to turn this into the stinger stuff into protein. Actually, I'm going to need to take one of those out. Oh, we'll turn that into protein just to free up that inventory slot. Okay, let's turn all of this sand. Well, hold on. Let's uh, let's look at this first. Go to organization. Okay, so we're gonna need ten of those uh, alien Huzuma, was it? And we also need here. We can actually just put it on the thingy here. We got modular frames. We'll need some Mercer spheres. We've got 10 of those so far and 10 fluctuators. Okay. So I think we could probably just turn all of the Sam into fluctuators in terms of research. See all, all those require spheres and fluctuators. That one's locked to us. Alien energy harvesting. See, we won't, we won't be able to make this until we can, at least until we can make computers. That's going to be a little while yet. Um, we could make a production amplifier with 50 circuit boards. I don't know, think we have that many. I know, um, yeah, we have 34, but I actually, yeah, no, never mind. I was going to say, I might put those in the sink, but you don't get a whole lot of points for those. And we'd be better off to save those for research or opening hard drives. Any hoozle. All right, let's go ahead and turn all of this into alien, uh, uh, reanimated Sam and then then into Sam fluctuators. I was mostly just checking to see if I needed the raw Sam for any other purpose, but it doesn't appear that I do. Okay, so um, we have a, a 251 reanimated Sam, and that can allow us to make 41 fluctuators. Let's do it. That is finished. We'll put the extra reanimated in here for now. Let's grab these modular frames. Um, we have enough fluctuators to make. Uh, I got three more in there. We have enough to make four of these depots. Um, first thing I want to do, though, is I'm going to save my game um, because I want to. Uh, I want to do a test here, and if this test doesn't work, this is for science the first time around. I can reload. I want to put it down and then see if I can pick it back up. I'm almost positive I can because, I mean, you can do that with pretty much everything in the game. But let's just confirm that. Let's just confirm that. There it is. It's got the little Mercer sphere at the top, kind of like powering it. That's cool. Take a little screenshot there. All right, so uh, drop items here to upload. It has a 15, 15 per minute rate. Okay. 
Um, how many... I wonder how many, um... Items you can put in there. Let's look at something else here. We go to alien technology. So that upgrades the speed. Oh, that's expensive. That upgrades by one stack. Oh, wow. Okay. We, we might need to get a little bit of um, alien fluctuator production going. That That's a lot of fluctuators. I mean, relatively speaking, right? Uh, what do we need to make that? Sam fluctuator. Apparently, we can only do it in the crafting bench for now. Probably requires the manufacturer since it has three inputs. Huh. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, anyway, um, the one thing we're going to be using a metric butt ton of is steel beams. And I have really cranked up the steel beam production with our little uh, factory over here. And while we're running over this way, um, well, no, here. Yeah, let's run over and grab that. Uh, I basically put two large storage bins a piece, so I stacked them. And I also put Mark II miners down on the impure coal nodes to double that production. Um, because I'm going to be building everything in the new factory with Mark III. Um, it's just... The, the main reason for that is because there's no reason not to if you have the resources. Everything will move faster up to 270 and it looks really good. I, I actually like the look of the Mark III belts. Uh, I play the game with uh, Lumen on or... or uh, what's that lighting effect? I don't think it's called Lumen. Uh, options, video... It is called Global Illumination. So I play it with medium. I just have it on all all of the time. Uh, you know, just because it looks good, right? And so these uh, the Mark III belts look really good, especially at night, because they have kind of those lights on them, and they have like a little bit of a pulsing effect to them. So, so the Mark III looks really good, too. But more importantly than that, though... Um, I just, you know, it, I figure if I have the resources, let's just use Mark III. You don't have to worry about, you know, putting, uh, you know, Mark I versus Mark II versus Mark III belts anywhere. We just Mark III everything and not even worry about it. And then it's sort of kind of future-proofed, uh, at least up until the point where, you know, we, we go beyond 270, which will be a thing right away, uh, as you'll see. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and... So, okay, so, so that means it's only uploading one at a time at a, a rate of 15 per minute. And, but what it's not telling me is how many stacks of stuff I can put in here. Is that what these little four things represent up here? Okay, here's where it is in the menu. Dimensional Depot. Take from inventory before depot. Yeah, let's do that. Unlock by research me. Huh, okay. So I don't know how many stacks that will take, but here's the other thing we want to test. If, uh, here, can I pull those back out? All right, so we've got 15 steel beams in the depot. And so I got 185 in my inventory. So if we take this apart, actually, I'm not going to have room, am I? Okay, so we have 185. If we take this apart, do we get those back? We. Oh, they just stay in the cloud. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, nice. Okay. So what we're going to do then is um, let's go ahead and make four of these because now, now that I know we can, you know, move them, uh, where do we want to put them at? Kind of doesn't matter because everything's going to get pulled out of here anyway pretty soon. 
Yeah, what the hell? Let's just put them here. Can we uh, can we stack them too? Hmm, we cannot stack. Oh, no, I'm missing Mercer Spheres. Right. Need three more of these. Yes, we can stack them. Okay, turn that around. Miss oh, missing wire. All of my bins are full, so we got full. Well, I think they're all full. I kind of, I, I just let the game run overnight to to build stuff up. Well, this one's still, still working. Uh, but uh, we have a full thing of plates, full as in two full smaller bins. Whole thing of screws. We're gonna need all this stuff for the build, of course. That I just pulled the stack out of there, full cable, and we should have full sheeting here. Yes, we do. Okay, good. Um, also, I want to hook you back up. Let's upgrade that this to three so we can move it in faster. Should have done that a long time ago. I don't know what the hell I, I was thinking. Can't remember everything, man. I'm old. Okay, anyway. So we're going to do four of these. And we're going to upload a stack of steel beams to all four of them. To start with. And then we'll see, you know, we'll see where we are from there. Um, oh, oh, well, okay. Is this, so the deep, the depot is almost more like a router uploading something to the internet. So if you have four routers, you can upload four things at the same time, at the same time. Is that the concept here? Cause, cause I don't think that, I don't think the cloud is dependent upon the depot. This is really just effectively getting faster modems, right? Or modems, routers. Okay, that increases the stacks. Stack increase by one, but does that mean the stacks you can upload or does that mean stacks that you can store? That's what I'm not sure about. Manual depot uploader enables the uploading from the inventory. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to be good. All right. So if we, if we uh, run across some computers out in the wild before we can actually make computers, we need to save them for this. Nice. Okay. This is cool. All brand new stuff, of course. They make weird alien sounds. What do you think, Doug? Oh, look at that! Doug, I love you! Heat sinks, nice! That's going to give us some nice points in the awesome shot. Uh, speaking of which, well, I'll tell you what. Let's go do our hard drive next so we can get that going. And then we're going to we're gonna throw the fuse modular frames and the heat sinks into the, the awesome shot. And these extra smart plates, too. We're going to be continue to make those uh, to get a few more points so we can buy some stuff for the build but let's go ahead now and go check out that hard drive um, yeah see I can't up upload those let's just uh, free up a little bit of room here um, I'm gonna actually take this stuff with me in case that hard drive wants these things Put that there. Take some. I did have one situation in my last playthrough where a hard drive wanted black powder. Okay, I think we have a representation of everything that we currently make, except for uh, sheets. I guess I don't have any sheets on me, and we don't need two stacks of quick wires. So put that back there. How many points do we currently have, by the way? Thirteen. Okay. Takes a while. Get ex it gets exponentially.
higher as you go. Let's grab some of these in case the hard drive wants that. All right, so the hard drive is up on the cliff over here. I happened to see it when I was over at the new base location. And uh, we're going to probably have to ramp up there to get there. So let's go around this way. And I, I got to, I, I don't know, remember exactly where it is. So I got to take a look, see, and then we'll figure out how to get up there. And stay down. This is the site of our new base, you guys. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so the drive's, I think, up on that cliff up there somewhere. I think it's right up there, so... Maybe we get up on our conveyor road and ramp up from that direction. Okay, so we have one stack of steel beams uploaded. I'm so glad they added that to the game. That's going to be incredibly useful. Is there a way up there from hither? Okay, now let's not go that way. We do need a way to get up on our road here, so for the time being, let's just put a ladder there. Okay, if we can get up there and go across that bridge, I think we can make it work the rest of the way. I don't think I've been up here yet. What's he garden? Yep, there's the drive right there. Okay, what kind of fat loots do we have? I don't see anything up here. As far as loot goes, I would have noticed it down on the ground. I wonder if it's up higher. Huh, all right, well, what do we have? Screws, that's easy. Okay, that drive is done. I'm guessing that whatever loot it may have dropped is probably up higher on the cliff there. Because it certainly isn't down below. I mean, how we, we would not have missed it if it was down there because I've been down there a lot, you know? Hmm. Oh, there's another little shelf up here. Let's get this thing going. There is nothing up here either. Okay, well, why don't we go all the way up to the very top and just take a look because there could be something valuable specifically for the um, awesome sink, you know, that we could use to get, a, get some more points. Let's do our usual marking of the spot. We want to mark this as complete. Let's head up here and see if the loots are up here.
Hmm. Well, if they're not up here, then I don't know where the hell they would be. Because we're too far away from the crash site now. Ooh, there's a big bat up there. What would Big Bad be guarding? Let's put down one of these guys. Oh, yellow slug. Okay. He doesn't know where I'm at. Cheesy McSqueezy. Sucks for you, bud. And he's down. I'm tempted to to jump off this clip and just activate our our hover pack, or I mean our jetpack, but we don't have one. In fact, we don't even have a parachute, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> I saw blue slug up this way. This isn't an exploration episode, but. Let's at least go get the blue slug, too. And we can blow some stuff up. There's that bang again. I'm pretty sure it's the space elevator or the distribution platform up in orbit. I was looking at some um, comments on Steam for the game. Some threads and people were saying, what's that banging noise? And other people were saying, oh, there's no banging noise. Or they were saying, it's the re-entry of your freighter. Or they were saying, it's a, your power grid shutting down. And it's like, no, it's none of that stuff. There isn't actually a banging noise. But it generally only happens when you're really close to the, the distribution platform. I hear a bad bad somewhere. I just don't see him. Maybe he's up there. Let's just run all the way to the top to see what's up here. And then we'll get back to business here. Because we are going to build our first smelter shack today. I'm going to build the first one on camera with you guys, and then I'll do the rest off camera just so you see how it, how it comes together. You don't see me, man? Now he does. Where's his giblets? Oh! We're not going near that. Just kind of... Don't go near there. Is there anything else around here? Another blue slug and more uranium. Yeah, we gotta stay away from that stuff till we get the hazmat suit and the iodine filters. I know what's all the way on top of this plateau. It's that really cool lake with all the curvy spire things and a shit ton of hatchers. But in case some of you watching have not seen what it's like up here, We'll take a quick peek. Oh, yes, there's a... Oh, shit. There's some serious radiation. Okay. I think we should run like hell. <laughs> he just spotted us. Oh, not good. This is not good. Where did he go? Oh, shit. Ah, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> he killed me. God damn it. I should have went back. <laughs> I just had to keep going over one more ridge just to see what's there. Fuck. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys back up here. We're gonna check out our, our drive here. It's almost done. Um, one thing I somebody was talking about, I was watching, I think it was Eclipse, Total Eclipse. 
Uh, he was saying if you get a hard drive recipe that you don't like, to leave it in the library so that way it doesn't pop up again. Alternate steel screw is a fantastic recipe. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, we're taking. We're definitely taking that because look at this 260 screws per minute for one steel beam. I love that recipe. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're not going to use it in our first build because I don't have steel production, you know, permanent steel production going, but we will definitely be using that in the future. Oh, no space left in depot. So, okay, so this stockpile, that's in total. That's not just per uploader. Oh, wow. That's it. That sucks, guys. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to get these upgraded. So these little lights here indicate capacity, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, now we know. I was hoping it would be a little bit better than that, but I guess it will be once we upgrade it. Okay, let's be super careful here. Hopefully this asshole's not camping my stuff. Holy shit. It is irradiated as a mofo here. At least in that one spot it is. Okay. Um, we could try to kill that asshole. But the other problem besides just him is the radiation. So, wisdom would dictate that we wait till we have the hazmat suit before we mess with that particular drive. But you know what I am going to do is, I'm going to at least mark it. There's like a really hot rate. Oh, there's a guy right there too. Maybe he's who was irradiating us. Irradiating. 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 So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to um, use the storage crate to mark it. I could use the nuclear thing, but I don't think I will because I want to keep, keep these consistent. We're going to go radiation. That way we know next time we come back here, we need a hazmat suit. Okay. Um, we should probably just, there's a purple slug over there, but whatever. I'm sure it's going to be guarded by something nasty. There's a lot of radiation. That's the, that lake I was talking about over there. It's got some nice stuff. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is not a good spot for us to be messing around with right now. Messing around in. Lots of dangerous stuff up here. Okay, let's just head back. I'm going to top my health off before we run back through this hot spot here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's quit fucking around and get to business here. So, I'm going to head back down and... Uh... Where, yeah, there, there's the bang. The bang noise. And we're going to build our first smelter shack. The first of several. In preparation for uh, our first factory. I'll see you guys down there. Let's very carefully get this blue slug. 
I don't have parachutes, so there's a purple one way up there. We'll get that one at some point in the future. We should actually make the parachute ASAP. Hey, doggo. <laughs> More heat sinks. Beautiful. Okay. Grab those from you in a second. I need some, make some room here. Ah, all right. We'll turn all these critter parts into protein. Thanks, Doug. While I'm thinking about it, do we have everything we need to research the parachute? Uh, we have we have everything we need to research the cloth. So let's do that first. Uh, oh, I was going to turn uh, these slugs into shards. Okay, that gives us a little more room. Um, what we're doing? Oh, right. Yeah, we need mycelia. Where is that? That's in here. And we needed some biomass. Mycelia, and let's research fabric. And the parachute needs tin fabric and research completed. Some cable. Fabric recipe unlocked. New mycelia research available. Parachute unlocked. Fix it appreciates your willingness to descend rapidly to perform your duties, <laughs> but damaging fix it property is a breach of contract and will have unpleasant consequences. Improve descent efficiency by combining the forces of gravity and drag with a parachute. Okay, so what is this? 20 fabric. Oh man, you know what? I don't think we have enough. We're going to have to go get some more mycelia. Yeah, we have enough to make 10. All right, well. At least we're getting closer to that. I haven't really found um, a lot of mycelia in like caves and stuff around here, I guess because it's a dry environment. Uh, but there is coral that we can harvest. Now, let's, let's do some points. Um, so we want to do the smart plating. I'm just going to throw that one rifle ammo in there to free up a spot here. Don't want to do any of that stuff. You don't really get a lot of points in the in the awesome shop, or I mean in the sink for these things. I'd rather hang on to the high-speed connectors and the circuit boards. So let's just see what we get with this stuff. All right, why are you stopped? Because we have no power. When did the power go out? I didn't get the the warning. What the hell? How is the power out? All right, let me investigate that. There's no way the power should be out. We have tons of capacity. In fact, we've just barely tapped into our 1200 megawatts. Did I cut? A line somewhere oh I bet you I know what happened when I came down uh, and you know pulled up the ramps behind me I bet you I cut the power silly me the weird thing though is it didn't give you the big power crashing sound that it usually does so that's why I wasn't aware of it you know wait a minute fix it doesn't give us health insurance <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And power's back. Okay. For goodness sakes. Can we get up there? Well, we could if we ramped, but I'm not, not going to get any more sidetracked than I already have today. This is like the sidetracked episode. <laughs> oh my god. I know, I've got a bad squirrel habit. 
Okay, I just realized, <clears throat> excuse me, that I, I do have enough material to make uh, 10 fabric. So we can make the parachute. Yay us! All right. Now let's keep that in our uh, our in our back slot, and now we can jump off of cliffs without killing ourselves. It is a beautiful thing. Okay, let's get back to the awesome sink. We're gonna cut that for the moment. So right now we have 14 coupons and about halfway to the next level. I don't think this is going to give us jack shit, but let's put it in there. Yeah, just a couple of little points there. Um, these are what's going to really give us some points. Uh, these frames. Let's put the smart plating in and see what that does. Okay, that boosted up a little bit. Try the heat sinks next. Oh, oh my God! Wow. Okay, that got us to 15. Beautiful. And these are going to be even better. 12 fused modular frames. Look, <laughs> look at that! Wow. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so that gets us up to 23 coupons. Um, and I don't really have anything else substantial to put in here. So let's print those out. And uh, do I have any other coupons? Let's see. I don't have anything in there. No, nope, looks like we spent them all. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we, we want... Uh, we want frame pillar set for sure because I have that included in my build uh, we want roof fix it roof okay how much is that that's eight okay let's just buy those now and we still have 50 coupons left I'd like road barriers I definitely want this eventually but um I think I'd rather have structural beam first, so that's five points. Okay, let's buy those. So that get, leaves us with ten more coupons. It's just a matter of prioritization. This is all just fun stuff that we can maybe work with later. There's nothing here that's real critical that we need at the moment. I need to get quartz going for signs uh, nothing real critical there customizer wall material I'd like these two and all of this as well foundations quarter pipes Inverted ramps would be nice. Yeah, I want those. Let's get inverted ramps. Just trying to think, though, if I want to spend these last 10 points on those metal foundations. Full frame window. Those are six. I do want those. Okay, let's look at something. If, if we did the steel frame windows that would be six points that would leave us four and if we go back to customizer yeah we wouldn't be able to do that and get both of these four right these are just these are just skins yeah there's just material I like the metal roof too Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the metal roof. I don't really use the tar roof that much. Let's get the glass roof. All fixed vetted materials are tested for toxins, hallucinogens, and other biologically adverse effects. Pioneers are advised not to immerse themselves in these materials and not to lick, eat, breathe in, lick. or otherwise consume them. That's funny. Uh, oh, and that allows us to get the inverted ramp set. Okay, that's what we're going to do. 
There we go. We spent all our money. It burned a hole in our pocket. So, yeah, we'll have to come back later and get more stuff when we build up points. I need to reattach that quick wire belt. But those were the main things I wanted to get for now. And then we got a couple extra things too, which is great. Okay, so we are going to set up our first smelter shed on this iron uh, deposit over here, I think. Now we're gonna, we're also gonna set one up um, on the iron here, the copper here, the caterium that's up on this cliff, the limestone that's right here. And I think that that'll be all we need for our our factory build. Let's go to blueprints and I haven't The reason why these are all just kind of lumped in one area is because I created them on my test save. So what I'll typically do in this game is I'll I'll make a copy of my my main save and then I'll test builds and make blueprints and stuff on those and then I'll come back into the main save and then I'll, put them where they need to go. I just haven't gotten around to that. But what we're going to do for this one is we're going to do the overclocked overclocked iron yeah, that one. Okay, so let's add one of those to the list so we see all the stuff that we need for that. And it looks like I, I have, have everything already. Oh, cool. It includes the steel beams in the in the depot, too. That's neat. But, oh, parachute. <laughs> it scared me. Um, let's not pull those out, though, of course. Let's just grab them out of our inventory. And uh, we're also going to need to build, let's see, foundations uh, architecture. We're going to need 20 of these. Thanks, Doug. All right, let's head on over here. Um, aside from the steel, you know, production that we got going on over by the coal, um, everything else over here I don't care about anymore. If it's still running, fine. If it isn't, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be tearing it all down. Uh, but, you know, we got two full bins of all of our other stuff, so we're good to go as far as that is concerned. Okay, so all of you, all of these things go away. Up to that point. And that completely fills up our inventory. Let me go drop a few of these things off in the... Yep, yeah, that just created a, a bin there. Uh, I'm going to trade... Well, here, yeah. I'm going to drop all this stuff off in the sink. Because I don't want to be working with a full inventory. Okay, we'll take that miner down. Now, this is a normal node. Right. Let's make ourselves a tower here. So we can get a little bit of height. All right, we're going to grab the concrete foundation here and put it on the global. We're going to put down a Mark II miner, which guess what? I didn't queue up and we're going to need more stuff. All right, I'll be right back. Woohoo, look at that. We can fly. Nice. Back in business here. All right, so we're going to put down Mark II Miner. And then we'll fill out the rest of this. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And we want this to be a 4x4 four four platform. Or pad, I should say.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to architecture and grab these big frame pillars. And we want to put these down five high. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now, we're going to temporarily put you there like this. Um, I just need to do this for the blueprint. Tell you what, let's get up high, uh, higher here too. All right, let's get the ladder on this side. Man, building without the hover pack just sucks <laughs> when you're used to it, you know? Okay, that should be fine. That's just, again, that's just temporary so we can put the blueprint down. Okay, let's grab the six smelter shed overclocked iron. Right? Yeah, that's the one we want. Okay, and then we're just going to line that up there. It's like we need to nudge it that way once. And there we go. Ada. Building in blueprint mode can further optimize your construction process with snapping and quick dismantling options. Build modes are not just there to make your work easier. They compensate for inevitable human error. Fixit understands humanity like no other, and humanity needs you to be efficient and productive at all times. Right. Okay. All right. So now let's get uh, let's get some hookups going here. Uh, the first thing actually we're gonna do is we're gonna run a conveyor line off of here. So let's do let's run this out to there. And the reason I'm doing this first is because then I can also cleanly run the power over here too. So this is ultimately got to get to our conveyor road over there. Uh, I think, yeah, actually let's go this way. Got to get right to here. Yeah, it's too bad that doesn't come straight out, but it doesn't. So uh, I don't really want to raise it up. I know I could. But then we have to bring it back down and and all that. So, okay, let's try this from the other, other perspective. Let's remember all this stuff here is going bye-bye, except for the miner, of course. And this, this road here is um, going to stay, too, because this is what we're going to actually hook into. Okay, let's zoop this to here. Let's zoop that to there. Now that I see this, I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to go up to there and come and wrap around this way. And yeah, I think it does make it will be a good idea to tap into this line here. It's important for a couple of these resources that I put the right thing on the right line for how it's going to go into our factory. But I think we're fine having this first uh, belt here be iron ingots. Hey, look at that. That worked out perfect, actually. I think, well, did it? It sure looks level. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, it's almost as if I planned it that way. Okay, let's actually bring this to here. Oh, we don't need to do that though with straight mode. Oh man, love straight mode. Absolutely love it. And remember, everything we do for this build is Mark III. Even if we don't need Mark III. It future proofs the base, it looks nice. And we have, you know, we have the materials to do it, so that's the plan. If any of you guys watching me like any of my blueprints and want them, let me know cuz I can I can put the files on like a Google Drive and share them out. So, yeah, just let me know. Okay, we don't need any of that. I don't hmm, Is that like perfectly lined up? No, it's not. Okay, if it was, I'd run straight in there, but since it's not, I want to stay bean. I want to stay uh, down the center. Excuse me, sir. Just give him a love tap. Dude. Get the fuck out of here. Man, that guy's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I guess he wasn't. Well, see, now he's in the way. All right. Well, hopefully he'll bugger off. While we're waiting for him to get out of the way, let's uh, let's actually run our power. And we want this power to be run along the conveyor road because it will be permanent. So it's got to be nice and neat. What are you connected to? Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's get rid of you. And this pole here is running the iron for our steel, so we want to keep that going. Um, and yeah, okay, we need to upgrade this one to a Mark Five. Um, I'm sorry, Mark Two. That's not going to be its permanent power configuration, but that's what it is right at the moment. Okay, let's run this to here, and then we'll bump that up so we keep things neat. Oh, am I doing... Yeah, no, these don't need to be marked, too. If that clips, we're going to have to change it, but let's just see what it does. No, I think it's good. Okay. Now we're going to run you to here. Now the way that I set up this depot is that I have power on all four corners up above, so wherever you happen to bring the power in, you can easily connect it. So let's let's remove all of those, and we're going to put you right here in the corner. And then we're going to run you up to... Uh, yeah, I think that corner. Correct. I'm gonna, I wanna move um, these poles over one nudge. Now, my rules for 
power lines in this game when we start building real buildings, I mean permanent installations, is I will, within reason, do my best to not clip power lines, but sometimes, you know, just because of where things sit, sometimes it's just damn near impossible not to clip. And when that does happen, I just kind of consider it like conduit going through a wall kind of thing. Whoops. And not lose any sleep over it. So just FYI on that. Good. Now, um, uh, these... Oh, shit. I forgot to remove these. Okay, hold on. Gotta redo all this now. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, those were only in place there, too. Uh, you know, for us to put the blueprint down. There we go. Okay, we got the output uh, connected. No, I didn't do that right. That's, that's not right. This has to go up above. And we want a Mark III lift. And I think what we'll do is we'll go all the way to the top and turn it this way. And then we're going to put a Mark III lift in here. Make sure it's an input lift, which it is. And then we're going to run a Mark III belt in there with a nice 90 ds because of the straight mode. Damn, I love that. Okay. Let's also pull that back up for a second. Grab you and where's our insulator? It is right about on this line here. Okay. Probably about as close as that's going to get. And we got power. Yep, that's good. Okay. Oh, you know what? This isn't going to work. Uh, well, is it? If we bring this down here, is that clipping? It's just barely not clipping, so I think we're going to get away with it. Yeah, I, that's acceptable. That's acceptable. <clears throat> okay, good. Now, we need to get up top, and because I can't, you know, I don't, I don't have my jetpack yet, I think we'll just use ladders to get up to the top of these. And let's do that. Guess we'll have to do it from the outside. And maybe we'll start it right here. We'll put down a, a catwalk here. Let's go with this one. No, actually, yeah, let's just do the corner piece again like that. Well, actually, no, let's, let's do it this way. I couldn't add this to the blueprint because it was all the way out to the edge. Okay. Now, we need to pull this up for a minute and pull those things out of the way for a minute. Let's grab you and hook you in. 
and that powers everything up because I already have it nice and wired. Uh, what ha uh, oh, never mind. So yeah, I've got wiring in each corner of this shed. So, if, you know, if, if you happen to run the power to the backside instead or, you know, to the this the east side in this case then you just hook up wherever it's most convenient and we're uh, we should be good to go we just need to get that line hooked up down there but let me t show you what's going on up here so all of these machines are I must have, hmm, that's weird I must have changed the color on these oh no because I'm I'm on a different save right okay these are using swatch too. So we're gonna flip these around. There we go, okay. Now, the way that I like to do things, and I did this in my update eight series too, is I like to, let's get that belt hooked up or that's gonna bug the hell out of us. There it goes. All right, cool. When I overclock a machine, I like to color it red. And when I underclock a machine, I like to color it yellow. So that way I can just kind of tell at a glance if it's overclocked or underclocked. Everything's all jammed up at the moment. And it's going to get jammed up again as soon as that gets to the end. But anyway, um, I have all of these overclocked. Uh, each to 45 per minute, and there's six of them, so six times 45 is 270. So that way we're, we're at the max capacity of our 270 belts. Okay? Um, and then if we go down here, what we have to do is we also have to overclock the miner. That's why those things are stalling out at the moment, because I'm not feeding it enough ore, as you can see here. So we need to also make sure that this is overclocked to 270. Since it's on a normal node, it's going to take all three of these power shards. And there we go. So now we're feeding 270 and we're outputting 270 because with iron as with copper, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So these guys should start kicking it. Well, now they're going to stall out because the, the belt stalled out, but once I once this is fully up and running and we're fully feeding the iron into our new factory, then these will run 100% efficiently. But as you can see, they're now all kicked in because they're now all getting enough ore, but as soon as their buffers fill up, then they'll, they'll stall out again. Okay. Nice. So that is the smelter shed. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be setting up more of those in preparation for our build. Let's go run over here real quick. So I also, I'm going to just tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to show you this on camera because it's going to just be, you know, mundane types of things. But I'm going to get this conveyor road set up here. And um, that, we don't even need this anymore. This all goes away now. Uh, I'm going to clean up all of this crap out here. Uh, remove ev all machines except for the two coal miners and the awesome sink. I'll keep that going for the time being. And, of course, our storage. I'm debating whether or not to move all of our parts over to the factory. Um what I'll probably do, I, I probably will do that now that I see that we have very limited capacity with the dimensional depots at present. <clears throat> so I'll probably um, set up like a truck or a tractor and have the tractor just haul all of our shit over there. Um, and then I'm just going to set up all the conveyor belts to run over to the factory and get that all ready to go for the build. So we're going to set up another one of those smelter sheds. Uh, here on this iron node 
and it'll it'll fit in the trees. I'm I'm gonna try and preserve the you know the trees as much as possible. We're gonna set up another one over here on this copper. And we're going to set one up on the hill there where our Caterium is because we're going to be using the Caterium wire recipe as well as making quick wire and AI limiters in our first factory. So I'll get all that set up and get the conveyor road. And then once that's done, uh, we'll be ready to start building our factory. And it's going to be awesome. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ciao.